Uh, so I've been getting a lot of complaints about the One UI 7 update, especially for the S23 series. It didn't look like the battery life got affected with the S24 series at all. Now, there are a few things that you can do, a few tips. Uh, so one thing that I always do when I update my phone and it's a, like a big update like this is you're going to hold the power button and volume up button and make sure your phone is off. And then we're going to wipe the cast partition. So it'll boot into this menu. Just keep holding it till you see it. All right, so we'll boot into this menu. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we're just going to use the volume keys to go down. And you'll see this wipe cache partition. And we're just going to go ahead and click yes. And then we're going to reboot our system. You can also do a factory uh, reset. Now that typically works for a lot of people um, when they make a big update like this, just having to do a factory reset. I know a lot of you know no one wants to do a factory reset uh, but if you do you know of course make sure you back up your device back up all your back up all your photos and stuff like that um, but if you've already done that I do have some battery saving tips for you that I always implement uh, for you know myself so let's go ahead and jump in alright so the first thing is going to go into settings and then we're gonna go ahead and head into the display and then we're going to make sure we turn on dark mode. I like to keep dark mode on. This will help with battery life um, as well. So if you're in applications, I would turn on the dark mode setting as well too. And just overall, it'll help with your screen on time. You can also put a dark wallpaper uh, on your home screen as well too. That'll help uh, with your battery life as well. And then if you do want to, we can turn the resolution down. So we do have you know 1440p on this s23 ultra we can bring it down to full hd plus which it doesn't look that bad from a distance it's not like it's unbearable to look at uh, but you will notice that the quality is a little bit like it's not bad but it just you know it's just something that you can do and this is something i always do like i'll bring it to 720p if i'm out and i'm not around a charger then I'll bring it to this. Well, it's not 720p, 720p plus, but yeah, you can do that and that'll help a lot. And then also in display, you can bring your refresh rate down uh, to 60 hertz. And this will help with battery life a lot as well too. Now, it won't feel as smooth, but it's also something uh, you can do. Now, one of the main things that a lot of people don't do with Samsung phones is they don't make sure their battery health is protected so you'll see battery protection here if it's off turn it on and then I would put it to maximum especially if you're going to be somebody who is keeping your phone for a long time so what this will do is it will help your phone have consistently good battery uh, life throughout the years when you keep it uh, it's very important you can now with this update set it to 95 or you can set it to 80 but for maximum battery health we're going to keep this at uh, 80 percent so how what what a lot of people do is when they charge their phone at night um it'll charge up to 100 percent, and that that right there will it'll degrade the battery a little bit when you do stuff like that constantly um so yeah so keep that at 80 and you'll have very good battery life for years to come now in your settings we can go to battery and power saving here so what i like to do is turn this on because i don't like the 60 hertz i'll turn this off and you can keep you know this on and this will help with battery life basically background network usage to syncing and location checking will be limited so that's all it's doing but if you can stand the 60 Hertz you know you can turn that on as well too but it's something that you know I don't like because because it just makes the phone feel kind of laggy alright so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head into your lock screen and always on display here now you can see it's not available with that power on so that'll help with battery life but like I said it depends on what you how you want to set that up so let's say if you you want that always on display on so we're gonna go back now you can have it to tap to show so I think it's typically on auto or you can have it on a, a schedule as well too so when you want it to pop up I think for having it for new notifications makes a lot of sense um, but 
Samsung gives you the flexibility to be able to choose, you know, how you want to set this up. So you can do that if you don't want the always on display to be completely off. You can save battery life by just having it on tap to show because I'm pretty sure I think it's always on a always so the next tip is going to be in device care here and we're simply going to put our performance profile it's on standard we're going to put it to light this would not affect your performance like background apps or gaming or anything like that it's just going to prioritize battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed so you can play around with you know this and see how you feel about it but when you turn this on um, there's no like it's not lag or anything like that so i know that's like the first thing that probably pops into people's minds but that will definitely help with battery life. And one thing that a lot of people don't actually do is you go to auto optimization here and then you will hit the restart when needed. If you look right here, it'll say restarting your phone from time to time can help keep it running in its best condition. Your phone will only restart when the screen is off, isn't being used, battery is above 30%, SIM card lock is off. Now also guys, a really big battery uh, drainer is going to be just having a really, really like high brightness for you guys who love to use your phone on max brightness that is going to drain your battery a lot so i would recommend you pull it down to where you can stand it i almost never have my phone on max brightness ever even if i'm outside i try to keep it as low as you know i could possibly you know stand it this will save you a ton of battery life guys so if you don't need the you know the extra brightness if you're not it's not sunny outside or anything like that you're indoors or in your car or something like that try not to have it all the way at max brightness just try to have it you know like somewhere right here or however you can stand it that will help with battery life a lot so those are the tips like I said the best tip is really going to be um, a factory reset and wiping that cast partition if that doesn't work you know try these tips as well but yeah uh, let me know what you guys think